A much anticipated new exhibit uses Mother Nature's wrath to explain the basics of physics and chemistry. It opened today at the Museum of Science and Industry. And as Chicago Tonight's Paris Schutz found out, it is taking museum visitors by storm. The Museum of Science and Industry's newest exhibit is a total disaster. Actually, it's a collection of about five natural disasters. It's called Science Storms, and its aim is to teach visitors about the forces of nature. Science Storms is an amazing new permanent exhibit that really is about the wonder, the beauty, and the incredible process of science. The core of our mission, and we see it over and over again, is to have those moments where we light a spark in a young person, or for that matter, an adult. This spark was created by a giant coil and two metal rings. It sends 1.2 million volts, illustrating the positive and negative charges that collide to cause lightning. When that reaction between the positive and negative charge builds up sufficiently, it releases this massive display, gorgeous visual display of energy, which of course is what we see in nature in a, in a lightning storm. Museum visitors can also play with fire, literally. The fire wants to expand itself and it uses oxygen to do that and heat, and the water is repelling the fire. This experiment shows how natural elements come together to ignite and douse a flame. But the centerpiece of this sprawling exhibit has a bit of a twist. They say tornadoes rarely occur within the city of Chicago. Well, they would be wrong. This one occurs every day, during museum hours, of course. It replicates the conditions that create and manipulate a tornado. Seems like a complicated contraption, but as museum vice president Kurt Haunfellner explains, it's actually quite simple. We have a pool of water underneath a metal grate. That water is atomized by uh, ultrasonic vibrators that vibrate the water at a million cycles a second. They come up through that grate. That airflow creates the vortex. And then we have massive fans that suck the whole thing up towards the ceiling. OK, well, I got part of that. Still have this big kind of wooly, fluffy vortex going on. But when you really turn up that airspeed, you start to get these really tight tornadoes. And if you want to feel the wind force of a very minor tornado... This would be like if you're going 80 miles an hour in a car down the highway. <laughs> Nothing! <laughs> what is your favorite thing here so far? The tornado. Why is that? Because it goes around and it feels, and it feels soft. It gives you air. And it shows you how, like, a real tornado could go, like, faster. And I think that was fun. Custom design interactive models also explain the science behind tsunamis. Now, this is something that could be triggered by an earthquake. By Absolutely. A... Triggered by a seismic event. And this giant disk replicates the conditions of friction and force that produce an avalanche. The exhibit on the whole is five years in the making and cost around $30 million. This is probably the most groundbreaking, large-scale basic science exhibit created in the United States in the last 40 years. In the end, Science Storms is really about the basic building blocks of nature and how they relate to our daily life and how man, in an appropriate way, can manipulate those building blocks to create a better world for all of us. The most basic elements of science reflected in nature's most powerful events. For Chicago Tonight, this is Paris Schutz. Definitely not Kansas. Admission to Science Storms is included with a general museum ticket. Check out our website for more information, including upcoming free days at the museum.